here we go. Okay, okay. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I've done this super, super, uber dramatic makeup look. This is such a gorgeous, colourful look. I haven't done one of these in so long. Like a real dramatic, colourful look. I haven't done one of these in like forever forever i'm so excited to show you guys this tutorial i had a lot of fun creating it for you guys it's just a spotlight halo eye so if you guys are interested in seeing how i got this look then please stay watching okay guys so i've already done like the base and everything i thought i'd just skip to the eyes today just because i've done so many videos with my base and i thought i'd make this one a bit quicker so i'm going to start with the eyes and i'm going to prime them with my soft ochre paint pot from mac just to neutralize the lids and get rid of any like veins or redness or anything like that. And I'm kind of carving out the bottom of my brow as well with this. Because I am having a structured AF brow today. And then I'm just going to lightly set my lids with some pressed powder. All the way up to my brow bone as well. Okay, for our first shadow, I'm going to take my Morphe 350 palette on a 228 Luxe Crease Brush. I'm going to dip into this transition shade. It's like just a shade, like a, like a light warm brown, a couple shades darker than my natural skin tone. I'm going to apply this through the crease for a transition color. And I'm actually rounding out the eye, guys, so I'm bringing the shadow up quite high in the center of the eye, so where the arch is, kind of thing. And I'm rounding it out on the inner and outer corners. It's just kind of mapping out the shape as well as creating a transition. Keep in mind guys, this is a transition color, so it doesn't need to be super opaque. Just like, just dark enough so that you can see it and it can be a transition for the other colors to blend into. Kind of like that, so you've got your little soft transition. Next, dipping into this light orange shade from the Morphe 350 palette. This is going to be the next shade down in the gradient. I'm going to take it on a Lux Soft Crease Brush. It's just a slightly more petite crease brush, I believe. Like, we're going from really sparse brushes down to really defined, um, definer brushes, I guess we could say. So I'm just going to take this through the crease just below where we place the transition colour. And again in the centre of the eye ball, the socket area, I'm buffing that up higher than the rest to round the eyes out. And then tapering it back into the outer corner so it just follow the natural socket of your eye, the natural crease. Again using barely any pressure so I have more control on how much pigment I'm placing down. Okay so once I've got our soft blend of that orange I'm going to take a slightly deeper colour. I'm taking this kind of corally shade from the same Morphe 350 palette and I'm going to take this on a Zueva, um I think it's called a Luxe soft definer brush so the bristles are more dome shaped than sparse like the other ones like the other two brushes well I wouldn't really say it's like dome shape I'd say the bristles are just slightly more like slightly more compact together than the other two they're a bit more sparse so they apply the shadow more softly whereas this packs it on a little bit darker and I'm focusing the product on the inner and outer corners first to round out the eyeball and then as we build up more product I bring it through the crease and shade it upwards like I did with these other previous shadows to round it out because I'm changing the shape of my eye for this look and I have more naturally elongated eyes if you're naturally rounder, it's going to be easier for you because you can just follow the natural shape. Whereas I've got to kind of bring it up a bit higher to round out the eyes so that they don't look so elongated. And then taking some of that orange shade on the very outer skirts of that coral shade. Just 
just softening the edges and so that transition shade on the very fluffy brush from the beginning I'm barely touching it to my skin so that it creates a soft blend very very soft like so now that we're getting on to the deeper shades I'm going to take this gorgeous like pinky purple shade from my Dubious Place Deuce palette it's in the shade Custard and on that same soft definer brush, I'm going to whack that colour right below where we place that corally shade. So we're going from those warm tones into this cooler tone, so you do need to do it just a slightly bit more blending to help those um, two different undertones blend into one another. So we might go back and forth between the corally shade and this one just to help them melt into one another. I'm literally just letting that brush fall into my socket and let the socket of the eye guide it as I blend it through the crease. Next I'm going to take Poison Plum from my Sugar Peel Burning Hearts palette. I don't think you guys can get these palette like this palette from the website but you can get the single shallow shadows. <laughs> Tongue tied. And on a petite crease brush from Zoeva, I'm going to apply that to the inner and outer corner. I might actually go in with a pencil brush instead. And there is a fallout with this, guys. So I placed some tra like translucent powder to catch it. So just keep that in mind. And I'm also taking it through the crease. Rounding out this inner part a little bit more so it looks more rounded. And bringing it up just slightly above my natural crease in the very centre of my eyeball. Don't bother about trying to make it blended or anything like that, just pack on as much colour as possible and then we'll blend out in a second. Then taking that Juvia's Place palette and taking Custard again, I'm going to softly soften the edges of that purple. And I'm using a petite creased brush to do it. I pack it on but then I use whatever's left on the brush and barely touching it to my skin I'm blending out the edges of the purple into the pink. And then going back in with all the shades again. And then taking my Soft Ochre Paint Pot and my LA Girl Concealer, I'm going to create that spotlight halo in the centre of the eye. So just carve it out. And the reason I'm using both concealers, like the eyeshadow primer and the concealer, is because I wanted more of like a thinner consistency with the LA Girl one, but I wanted a really full coverage with the MAC one, so I mixed those two together. And I'm just going back in with some of that purple on a precise shader brush from Zoeva, I think it's called. I'm just kind of going against that spotlight edge to crispen it up a little bit. Next I'm going to take puffs from my Juvia's Place palette and I'm bringing it almost to the top but not all the way. And then taking Tarte on a spot liner brush I'm just placing it just above puffs. I also spritzed my brush so I'd have more control when applying this shadow. Puffs is pretty but like it's not purpley enough. I'm totally going to take a black light from Makeup Geek. I think this will look so pretty and apply it over top of puffs. And I'm just going in with my finger. And I'm just going back in with Poison Plum. I'm going to blend the shimmer and the matte into one another.
And it's going in with some of custard on the very edges where that purple meets the shimmer to help those two blend into one another. Help tie the eye look together. And redefining that crease with poison plum. So I just basically um, blended out the purple into the shimmer and I put a bit of like puffs and tart um, where, where purple met custard and custard but the shimmer because I wanted it to kind of fade in and black light that duochrome shadow to be the very very center if that makes sense. Oh my gosh and I left tart as like the top of the spotlight. I love this eye so much guys. Oh my you guys think like this is fairy from attitude and this is bambi from house of blush it's like i'm not sure which one it's like do i want hella dramatic with this eye or do i want more subtle this is fluffy i really really like fluffy oh, it's such a hard decision huh mm -mm -mm. so the lashes i decided to go in with are the attitude lashes in the style fluffy i liked the bambi ones but i was like what am i here today doing like really i'm doing a dramatic look and i haven't done dramatic lashes in so long and these ones are just so beautiful they're also short on the inner and outer corner and longest in the center so they're going to round out the eyes as well that's why i was choosing between bambi um fairy and fluffy because those lashes are short on the inner and outer corners and longest in the middle so next i'm going to tight line with a black eye curl this is just the full spectrum eyeliner pencil from makeup geek in the shade obsidian and that's just going to help tie the lashes into the lash line a bit so i don't have any skin poking through next i'm taking my itty bitty jumbo pencil and milk and applying this along my waterline to make it nice and white because i'm going to place an eyeshadow on top I'm just applying it on with a white eye curl pencil because I find it's easier than using the actual thick jumbo pencil. I just find I have more control with the eye, pe um, eye pencil. So I'm taking Tarte on that Zoeva 310 spot liner brush. And I'm going to place Tarte right over top of the NYX jumbo pencil to set it in place but also create like a pinky purpley tinge to it. Next I'm going to take Poison Plum. I'm going to tightly wiggle this along my bottom lash line all the way from outer to inner corner and I'm just going to leave like a little bit of a gap right underneath the inner corner part blank for the inner corner highlight taking custard on the Zoeva pencil brush I'm just going to buff out poison plum then taking that orange and corally shade both on a gloss pencil brush. I'm just going to wiggle that against the pink to further blend it out and also tie the bottom lash line in with the lid space. And then I'm taking some of that transition shade that we used at the very beginning and I'm going to buff that really tightly against those colours to just kind of help it transition into the skin a bit more seamlessly. For my inner corner pop I'm going to take both Shimmer Shimmer and Ice Queen and place that on my very very inner corners. And then just place some mascara on my bottom lashes. Now I'm not like a big fan of spidery lashes. But if they're like a dramatic look like this where you need them to stand out against the bottom lash line. I do recommend it. Especially with that like white eye curl in the waterline. And I'm also going to highlight my brow bone before I forget. With the same shimmer shimmer and ice queen eyeshadows. And that is the eye makeup completed. I'm so happy with how it turned out. So next I'm going to move on with the skin. And I'm going to bronze and contour. We're going to do all that good stuff. I'm going to start off with contour first. Then I'll bronze. So I'm going to go in with my usual contour powder. In the shade Breakup from Makeup Geek. It's a nice cool tone brown. Perfect to create that nice chiseled shadow. I'm just going to... Um, apply this with a fan brush to the contours of my cheekbones and I like to bring it up the temples as well so it kind of curves in and I like to make sure it's focused 
more towards the hairline and then just kind of taper whatever's left towards the outer corner of my mouth for that translucent drink bone. <laughs> then taking my miscellane bronzer in the shade Barbados Babe, I'm just going to bronze the complexion. I like to brush it upwards to help blend out that contour as well and lift thy cheekbones. Hit that forehead. Contour the chin. Make sure you blend it out guys because it's super obvious when you've just got a stark like bronzer line along the jawline. Even though I say that and we've got like a nice stark bronzer line along the cheekbones but I don't know, I just don't, I personally just do not like having that line along the jawline, you know? And kind of contourish the nose. And for blush, I don't usually apply blush unless it's like a really dramatic makeup look. I'm going to apply this gorgeous like muted rosy tone blush from Makeup Geek in the shade Infatuation, just along the contours of my cheeks. Then I'll taper like whatever's left on the brush onto the apples afterwards. And I'm gonna be a bit extra with my highlight today. I'm placing um, this gorgeous strobing liquid from Maybelline along the high points of my cheekbones and on my nose and Cupid's bow. And taking a shimmer shimmer. I'm just placing this on my high points of the cheekbones and then just dipping into black light I applied that just over top of shimmer shimmer just on the very very high point for a bit of like a cool little duo creamy go like glow and it just ties in with the eyes that's optional guys it's just a bit of fun a bit of bluish purple reflex on the cheekbones oh I love it then taking my Violet Voss um, Trio Highlighter Palette and taking Moon Gleam, which is the lightest highlight shade, and applying that to my nose, Cupid's bow, and a bit under the lip as well, like on the bottom lip. And then finally I'm going to set my face in place with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. For lips, I'm first going in with my Natural Lip Liner from Rimmel in the shade 049. And just slightly overlining my lips as well as filling them in. And I just like to soften the edges of that line and I've overdrawn my lips just so it looks a little more natural and there's not like a stark line there. It kind of just looks like my lips are naturally fuller. Then taking Commando from Kylie Cosmetics. It's a gorgeous like nudish brown. It's a nice, it's the Velvet Liquid Lipstick Collection, so it's not going to dry super matte, which is nice. I don't want something super matte today. Mm, the liquid lipsticks smell like literally like those marshmallow chapsticks that you get with, you get when you're a little kid. Like I used to have one, and it literally just reminds me of that so much. Like the childhood mems are so real right now. <laughs> Next, I'm taking the Good Dose of Colors Lip Gloss in the shade Undress. And it's quite a nude color. It's very light. So I'm just going to apply this to my lips as well because I want a glossy finish and I don't want the lips to be like the statement today, it's definitely the eyes. So I'm going for a real nude lip. So this completes today's makeup look guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Got a thing or two out of this look. I love the eyes. Like that is literally my favourite part of this whole look is the colours. Of course you can wear like a white. I'd probably wear a white with this if I was to go out. Like this black is probably not complimenting it as much. But I really love it. Guys, let me know if you liked the Bambi lashes or these lashes more. Because I just couldn't decide. I just decided to be more dramatic today. But yeah, let me know if you liked the Bambi ones better. Otherwise, guys, have an awesome day. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did like or you do recreate it, make sure to like literally tag me. I've left all my links to my social medias down below. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Have an awesome day. I love you all so much. Thank you for your support. Your unending love and support is so important to me. I love it so much. I am so grateful for it. So thank you so much. I love you all incredibly much. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.